I don't know about you, but when I see a plant, it doesn't make me think about the fibers of the plant being used for clothing. But surprisingly, there are a lot of different ways that plant fibers can be used for yarns and fabrics. So let's check them out. To begin, let's get a better understanding of what fibers are. Fibers are elongated, supportive strands composed of individual cellulose cells that are held together with gums and pectins. There are three main types of plant-based fibers. Bast, like flax and hemp. Leaf, like sisal and pineapple. And seed, like cotton. Why would we want to use plant-based fibers? Well, they're produced from our environment, they're biodegradable, comfortable, and hypoallergenic. However, a few disadvantages to plant fibers are that they can be expensive, they shrink when washing, they have a low resiliency, and the fibers are often variegated or not uniform. Let's take a closer look at a very common plant fiber from seeds, cotton. There are four types of these natural hollow fibers, such as Pima, Egyptian, Upland, and Organic. Specifically, Pima cotton is considered the finest cotton as it is extra soft and features long fibers. Similar to Pima cotton, Egyptian cotton has extra long fibers, which can produce thread or yarns that are thinner and smaller in diameter, yet stronger than other cottons. This allows more threads to be used to create a luxurious fabric with a high thread count. Upland cotton is the most common short and medium staple cotton often produced in the United States and Mexico. It's primarily used to make denim jeans and flannel clothing. It's perfect for producing quality everyday products that everyone can afford. Organic cotton is made without toxic substances and pesticides, making it the most skin and environmentally friendly. But what makes cotton such a desirable fiber? Cotton accepts dye well, it's soft, cool, breathable, and can hold water 24 to 27 times its weight. This makes cotton a highly desired fabric to wear in the warmer months. However, cotton is highly flammable, expensive, prone to shrinking, wears down fast, holds on to moisture longer, and has poor elasticity. Cotton's micron count can range from 11 to 22, making it sometimes softer than cashmere. A few examples of cotton yarns include Cascade Yarns Ultra Pima and Barocca Modern Cotton. Next, let's learn a little about linen. Linen originates from the flax plant and is one of the longest produced textiles. Linen dries faster and is stronger than cotton. It has thicker fibers, is not prone to pilling, and features low heat retention. However, have you ever noticed the price of linen products? They are more expensive because it's less available. But why is that? Simply put, manufacturing linen is labor intensive and a timely process from harvesting to fabric construction. Linen is also prone to getting wrinkles and it can lose its biodegradable qualities when it's bleached or dyed. Similar to cotton though, the micron count for linen is between 12 and 16. A few examples of linen yarns are BC Garn Alino and Rowan Yarns Creative Linen. You may be thinking, that's it? What about bamboo or viscose? We'll be getting into more detail with those and a few others in our semi-synthetic video coming shortly. What do you think? Do you prefer cotton or linen? Is there a certain cotton or linen yarn that's your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below.